In today's video, we're going to go over uh, one of the trade setups that we had in the NASDAQ during the day. Um, and also, just to let you know, the zone that I gave you yesterday in TLT was violated. It did not trigger an entry, so that setup is a bust. Um, all right, so as far as what we saw this morning in the NASDAQ, once we started trading off of this last high, I was looking for symmetry from some of these prior declines to run from this last high to see when we might put in another low. And what I found was that uh, we were close to some asymmetry, but I had to add yet another level because what this looked like was a possible two-step pattern. And I measured it. If you took this prior high to low swing, it was a 66 point decline. If you projected it from this high, you come up with 64, 63. The actual low was made at 64, 63 and a quarter. So this was, um, you know, 65 and three quarter points. So it was only a tick away from perfect symmetry with this first swing down. So this was an actual setup this morning. And to give you an idea of what you typically look for, well, at least to bounce off of this area. Um, if it was a more important low, we would need to clear, you know, the rest of this uh, resistance on the way up, up to that 65.14 area, which it didn't, which means that we are vulnerable to you know, another swing down if we can't push back through that. Um, but let me just give you an example of you know, how we work with that. So 64, 63 was the zone. So what we typically wanna see is a trigger that tells us that it's worth placing a bet. So here's where we traded into that support decision. And then here's where you had the moving average crossover to the upside. Here's where you took out a prior swing high. So once that occurred, it was okay to be long NASDAQ futures and have your initial stop underneath this last low. And we did see a beautiful rally. I mean, we didn't see a full target off of it, but if you caught some of this stuff in the middle, I don't expect you to get the exact low and the exact high, but if you catch some of this stuff in the middle, you know, that was a, a nice day trade for the session. There was also another one that came in which was just a very simple symmetry setup where taking this high to low, projecting it from here, would have given you this low, and then you had another 20-point rally. So there's definitely um, you know, a lot to be done on the lower time frame charts if you are willing to day trade in, uh, you know, in the indexes.